Welcome back, lovelies. I know I look really weird, but today's video, as you've seen from the thumbnail, you all keep asking for an updated skincare routine because you say my skin looks great. You know, everybody sees their self differently. So since you guys think I look great, I'll take it. But I have all of my items here, and today we're gonna do that. I'm gonna update you on what I use, when and what order I use it. So if you enjoy my video, please consider subscribing and leave me a like down below. And like I always say, leave me a comment. I answer all comments. And if you have any questions about today's video, leave them down there and I will answer them. But let's go. I know I look weird, no eyebrows, huh? But first thing, of course, I put on my headband and I have my fan. How cute is it? It's got a little kitty nose and kitty eyes. I got this from Amazon, if you're wondering. Then we're going to, I always start off taking out one of my um, cotton pads. I get these from Shein. I don't know why, but I love these the most. They don't suck up all my product and most of it goes on my face. So I take one of those and then we start with these. The Vita Giga Daily Mild Clear Pads. These are toner pads. Take one of those out. Those come off. And these have one side that's more bumpy for exfoliating and then one side that's for not. I always take the more bumpy side and I just scrub. Now this is how I start. I do not go and use facial cleansers and things at the sink or the shower unless I was taking a shower. I always just do this. I do not use cleansers, like I said, unless I'm taking a shower. That's how I've always done it because they seem to over dry my face. I make sure I do my neck, my ears, and my chest. But we'll leave that out for today. Got to keep that covered. So we're done with that. You could see the dirt and things on it. I haven't worn any makeup or anything today and that's what came off. So then I take my fan and I dry this. Then next, I take the Super Brightening Peel Pads with Brightening Alpha Hydroxy Acids from e.l.f. I do love these. The only thing I don't like about them, and can you guys see my new background? Way better than the Christmas, huh? Is that when you take them out, they look thick, but they're very thin. So this little thin thing is two pads. So you have to make sure you pull them apart. Like, look how thin that is now. So it's the only thing I don't like about them, but other than that, I love them. Then I just run this around my face. Not so much scrubbing as to just putting the product onto my face. The neck. And let me give you a little tip. Take and put the top of it between the first and middle finger and the bottom of it between the third finger and the pinky and hold it like that when going up and down on your neck because if you don't it'll do this not that that it will roll up so again time to dry now this might seem excessive to some of you that I dry in between each step but I very much enjoy doing my skincare at night. So I enjoy every bit of it. Now, the pad that we took out, we're taking the Pixie Glow Tonic and we're putting it on that pad. Now this, I love. If you can see where it's at through there, not sure if you can, but it's not cheap. I soak the pad and then I just put the product on my face, just like with the brightening pads that I used from e.l.f. Now, as you saw, I do not go over my eyes with the other ones, but I do go under my eyes and over my eyes with this. But make sure you do that after you do the rest of your face so that it's not soaking, sobbing wet. You don't want to get it in your eyes. Make sure you get your ears and go behind your neck with everything. There's what it looks like after. Now, these do... As you can see, they will peel apart after so long, but I'm already done with them by then. And they're like $2 for a hundred. So now you know, dry. 
The reason I dry in between each step is because I want each step to be able to be soaked in before I put the next step on. Then I'm taking the OC Sea Mineral Mist. Sorry, I cannot read without my glasses. I gotta get this close. And I just give a quick spritz. That was that step. Now just know I dry after every single step here, but I'm not gonna keep showing it to you guys so this video isn't longer. Then before I do my serums, I do my eyes. Now, I got this from Influencer. This is Hope in a Jar Eye Revival Serum in Cream with elderberry flower and hyaluronic acid from Philosophy. You guys, I usually use these two products. That's what I've been doing at the moment. I started putting this on first. I cannot tell you how soft my under eyes have been. But I also will say this little thing is 40 dollars but it takes that little bit for each eye which at least that part's good i put it on my forehead and each of my smile lines and then i rub it around onto my forehead and down my smile lines going like this and then i pat then I dry and I pat it in as I'm drying the next I've been using the plumpkin retinol eye cream from Tony Moly Tony Moly I don't know why I said it like that from Tony Moly I'm just using this to try it out but literally that is probably too much a little goes a long 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 way with this same forehead and smile lines. And then the same. I rub it around on my eyelids, under my eyes, my forehead, and my smile lines. And then I tap it in. When I'm rubbing, I'm not pressing very hard at all. Because you don't want to cause wrinkles. I tap it in and then I dry it. And then last, I'm using the Revolution Hydrating Hyaluronic Gel. I've already ordered two more of these. This is what the applicator looks like. Just like a lip gloss or concealer. You take the angled part right here and you just tap. Forehead. Smile lines. Remember, do not press hard at all when you're doing the rubbing around. And then dry. Now we're into the serums. We got the Skin Ink My Daily Dose, and that's all I know. There is nothing else on the bottle to tell me what the dose is. But you can see there are little beads in there that burst when you rub it in. I put two drops on the right side, two drops on the left side, and one on my forehead. Like I said, I usually put one on each side down here, but I'll do that off camera. And then I rub it in. And you see, I didn't put any drops on my neck because you don't need to. The stuff spreads very well. That's why I put two drops on each cheek. So that way it's enough for the neck. And always pull away from your mouth so that you're like pulling in the upward motion like this and then go up on your forehead to my neck i go like this like i said some of you may think it's excessive that is fine but this is what i do now right now i am using the revolution super fruit replenishing essence spray i love their little sprays because you don't have to put it on your hand and rub it in your face literally gets all of it. I 
Oh, that smells, it smells like fruit. Now the moisturizers, the Jelly Pop moisturizer from e.l.f. I do a squirt on each cheek and one on my forehead. And like I said, everything you're seeing me use on my face, I use on my chest area as well. I'm just not doing that on camera. Now this stage, I do not dry with the camera because it's a jelly moisturizer, it, it just soaks right in. Now I'm using the Daily Green Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer from Pharmacy. Yes, I'm using two moisturizers. How I do this, I just dip my finger in one side, dip my finger in the other side. And that's enough for my forehead and my neck, along with both sides of my face. A little bit goes a long way with this moisturizer. And I do dry this step. Then I put on the strawberry lip mask from ColourPop. I've been getting into lip masks and balms a lot lately. And then I would put eye patches and a face mask on and let those set Then take the face mask off, the eye patches off, and then do some more to my lips. I use the Truly Unicorn Fruit Lip Butter, the Morphe lip mask and some other lip mask yes i use a lot of lip mask but i love my lips but we're not going to put the eye patches and the face mask on today because i have some more videos i need to get filmed for you guys but i just wanted to show you an updated skincare routine and what i do and how i put it on and why i do it in what order so i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please don't forget to subscribe leave me a like and leave me a comment down below do you think i'm pretty excessive if you do that's okay i'm gonna keep doing it but that's just how I've always been. So I hope you lovelies enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.